Randy McKee here with Soccer 605. I'm here with Coach Dick Long, the head coach of the Sturgis uh, Girls Program. Uh, you started out with quite a bang this tournament, Coach. Oh, yes. We uh, started out first. We went up against West Central and kind of had a little eye-opener there. We lost 8-1. to one. Then we went up against Harrisburg, and we lost there 2-1 to one in the last 10 seconds of the game. And then we started fixing things, and girls started playing hard, and all the training was just starting to make you know, it's coming together and uh, we went up and won the next four games and came back and lost to St. Thomas More in the PowerPoint game and then played them again on the 27th and tied them 2-2. Two to two. And we lost to Belfouche 3-4 and then we brought, up, brought the game to Belfouche. So our final really was playing against Belfouche and we beat them 3-2 to two to get into the third and fourth position. So I think we've had just a tremendous run this year and I'm only losing one senior and we're looking pretty strong for the next couple of years, I hope, as long as everybody stays together and we get sanctioned, and that's still up in the air, but we're, we're working on that. We'll get that worked out, I hope, by January. Well, there's a lot of questions around the state as to which schools are going to pick that up and which aren't, and, you know, with this five-year window, at least to be able to play each other during the season, and, you know, it's hard to say what's going to happen in the tournament, so. Well, yeah, that's, that's the other thing, and... Uh, I would like to see it get into the school system to the fact that it, you know, more people get to play. Uh, you get your intramural teams and what, you know, the gals and guys that are getting cut instead of wandering around, what can we do next? If they take it to the next level and get it into the school, we can have three, four games, uh, teams, I mean, on each side and, and have the intramural games and keep it alive and well. Well, uh, you know, some of the uh, players that, uh, you know, some of those young players that uh, you had this year who, who would you uh, point out who really, really uh, produced uh, for the team consistently over the year? Uh, it would be uh, the young ones. It would be Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay, oh, I got three of them. They're just, they're just phenomenal. Lauren Fowler, Alex Kelly, and Lindsay Prosser, just brought tremendous uh, energy and, and sportsmanship to the game. It was a do or die with those young ladies, and I put the two in the back. That was a change I made after we lost to Belfouche and St. Thomas More, and it worked. Uh, the, I got to put it to use against uh, St. Thomas More in a non-power point game, and we, we tied them, and I thought, wow. <laughs> the two little uh, freshmen and an eighth grader that are just picking up the load back there and they're doing a fantastic job. But Lindsey Prosser, because Sturgis you know, cut the program on tennis, uh, I got her for the whole year. I didn't have another sport that she was – doing I guess she did softball but it didn't interfere with soccer she made almost all the practices except for when she had games and that young lady scored 15 of, of the 29 or 30 goals that we had you know, so just a uh, one player and it was amazing she always had it but I'd never get to see it because she'd be on a JV or she'd miss a game or bring it to varsity and a game was so tight I couldn't get her in but this year I got to use her and she brought that desire to get there just She's an awesome little player no matter what sport she's in. Well, you know, you just keep improving every time you get this team on the field, so you got to have a pretty high hopes for next year. I do. If uh, the sanctioning thing goes through and I get the, all the girls back that I've had this year, and in particular my JV, and they, they continue to play throughout the year, I'm going to have something worth, you know, bragging about. And I, I still have something to brag about. Coming in sixth and going home fourth is still a fantastic turnaround, and it's all because of them. We had practices and every almost every day of the week and they showed up every day to do it. So and that's amazing. And, and it's fun. That's when it's fun again. That's when you can do all kinds of great things with the kids and put them through different skills and, and j they just have a blast doing it. And I mean, it, they wouldn't be showing up if it wasn't fun. So I must be doing something right or they must be totally enjoying it. Well, we sure look forward to uh, following the team next year and seeing how you're doing. Uh, thanks very much for stopping in to say hi to us today, and uh, best of luck next year. I appreciate what you're trying to do with, the, with soccer for South Dakota in particular, try to get us up to that next level, find our players that we can say, hey, look at this, this is great. We've got these guys, we've got these gals. We need to expose them. They need to get the exposure so the rest of the country can see what we're developing. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.